Hey guys, I'm back today and I have not done a video in a minute, right? That's like such a basic thing to say in a minute. Every, everyone fucking says that. Anyway, sorry, okay. I have not done a video in like two weeks and it's because I had a relaunch of my site. I hope everyone, okay, seriously you guys, no joke from the bottom of my heart. Like, okay, so you guys know my old site was like kind of a disaster. It hadn't been updated in forever, like updated in forever. It just was never what I wanted and I finally have a brand new site and I had a party for it and like a relaunch party and literally the site, my new store site is like any, ev any everything I've ever imagined, every, anything and everything I ever wanted from day one. Um, it's shop with, no sorry, I see I'm always confused, it's shop hrh dot co, c o, not c o m and that was done deliberately, it's not like a mistake. So shophrh.co, it is so like, it encompasses me, but it's also very kawaii, Asian, like, ish. I wanted it to be after like a Japanese fashion magazine. And literally, I really feel like that's exactly what, hap what, what it is. It's my store, it's like interactive, it's fun. And then like towards the bottom of the, of the site itself, is my blog like a new blog kind of thing it's incorporated in my site and it's in like it looks like a magazine so if you click on the pictures there it will lead into like my blog and so I'm gonna be updating that every month it's just really fun I really really hope you guys go and check it out because honestly it's like nothing I've ever seen before and I really don't think that honestly like for, for real I don't think that anyone's ever done this. Like it's very, very cool. It's very fresh. We, I've worked so hard on it. So anyway, it's been just like so crazy with planning the party and everything. And everything was so fun and great. And now I'm just kind of getting back on track and working. But I did want, obviously want to do a video and I kind of feel like nervous right now. I don't know why I feel nervous. I kind of like feel nervous. I think it's because I bought a ring light. Can you guys see like in the rear view? A ring light and it's kind of like in my freaking eyes but I need this because you guys know my apartment lighting is so atrocious like I look like gray like I look like disgusting gray skin anyway so today I just figured I wanted to do a sit down with you guys I haven't t like spoken to you in so long I could have done a vlog but I had like, too many things I actually wanted to share and like over the weeks I've been like oh my god I want to share this I want to share this I want to share this and obviously everything I'm talking about is not working with any I don't like I'm not like being paid by anyone or whatever. This is all like my own stuff and it's all crazy shit as usual because you guys know like I don't just like like what people like and <laughs> like like weird shit. But um so yeah, that's that. Um what else? So please go check out my site. I just want you guys to go see it. It's so cool. Like I have not been tired of looking. It's so neat. Like you'll see. Okay, anyway. So what am I gonna get started off first? I have a coffee and I think maybe I've had too much coffee. Is that why I'm kinda like shaky? I feel like this video is gonna take forever too. I honestly just want to sit with here, sit here with you guys, and just like talk. So if this is an hour, I'm sorry, but it's not going to be. Ming, do you want to say hi? Come here. No, she doesn't. She wants to play. I'll show you Ming later though. She has like the cutest haircut. So I guess this video is kind of like favorites, but it's not because I really don't think that like my favorites videos are like typical favorites because it's more like me just sitting here ranting and chatting and like just talking about sh like random stuff. Anyway, this is my coffee I'm drinking right now. It's Cafe Lux, and they have one in Santa Monica and Brentwood, I think. And it's actually not bad. I like it, I don't love it, um, <laughs> as usual. It's okay, I get like a half of a pump of vanilla. And then, but the place I actually really, really like lately is um, the Coral. Coral Tree Cafe, that's like very known right in LA, but they do have a very good vanilla latte. Um, it's like not like typical kind of like vanilla flavor, it's like a good vanilla. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm playing with my hair a lot. So I just kind of want to talk about things that I'm digging right now. Like I just, things that I'm like, that I'm loving, things that I'm reaching. You guys know I don't like go out and like shop for shit. Like I don't have like a lot of things. I don't um, stockpile, I don't buy for favorites, I don't, I don't. Like honestly, I don't. Like I, if 
I, I'd rather like spend a lot of money on a nice item, like a nice piece or a nice like product than then go to like Target and buy like 50 things and then like use a little bit of it and throw it away or just like it's put in the back of your cabinet. Like I can't stand clutter. So that's another thing like this is all like real stuff that I really, really like actually. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get started. I'm just gonna like pull something. The first thing I'll talk about is this, and um, it's a sh it's called a body brush, and it's kind of wet because I obviously used it last night, so I have like a towel with me. But it is so there come it comes in like a smaller version, and for for your face, but this is for your body. Okay, now let me kind of get to my point. All right. For real, like, let's be real here. If you don't, if for me, if I don't use like this in the shower or like a loofah, if I just use soap, like I'll stink the next day. You know what I mean? Like you have to scrub yourself like in your armpits, right? And then gross, okay, gross but true, to not stink. All right, so when I saw this, I was like, yeah, right. Like it's so gimmicky. I'm just, what is that? Um, it's so gimmicky, like I'm not gonna like it. I'm probably just gonna buy it just cause it's really cute. It has like the perfect Hello Kitty face. You guys, the bristles, are so soft. They're like these really fine, delicate bristles. I felt it, I was like, yeah, right. How is this gonna like scrub me and like make me fresh and clean? But it really works. I think maybe because the bristles are so fine that it really like gets into the pores and you don't smell. I love this. I don't know how long it lasts. I don't know if this interchanges or something. I'm not sure, but I think it was like $30 and I kind of love it. It's like. I, I use it instead of, um, okay, that's not true. All right, let's just be real. I use this for like my body and armpits, but like other places, I don't use this because it like doesn't, okay, it doesn't fit, like it's weird. Okay, never mind, stress. sorry, okay, I don't, <laughs> TMI, but you guys know what I mean. But I use it a lot. Okay, the next thing, oh yeah, let me talk about this too, I love this. All right, so for my relaunch, um, I offered, and it's still going on too, um, while supplies last, and I just love these so much. I think I might bring them on for people to purchase too if they like, because I just really love the way they turned out. Um, let me take everything out so I can see. There's these really, really cute little um, clear, like cut carryall bags that say HRH, and I'll take everything out because everything in here is, some things in here I wanna share. But in the HRH logo, and it's a really nice like little bag and I keep it, and I carry it with me when I go walk Ming or if I go get coffee, this is what I carry now. And I just really, really love the way this turned out. It's the perfect size, it carries exactly what you need. I have my key, my two favorite lip lipsticks. I have my favorite winged eyeliner, which you guys need to buy. It's by Dolly Wink and I'm not wearing a flick right now, but this is the best, um, I feel like this is the best winged eyeliner for a winged to simple eye, eye cat or cat eye ever. Love it. Um, a pen, and it has like all different colors. And then money, and then, it's not so, so you guys can see like the age but, um, so this is still going on. If you guys purchase anything from my store, with any purchase, you guys are getting these. And I'm just so, I just love the way they turned out. So cute, like really nice, good quality piece, and the HRH logo is so fun. So that's that. Um, and then, because I showed you guys, I'm gonna show you this was inside. This is the new item or product that I'm using on my face. And it's the new, I think it's a Korean thing with a new sponge. And you guys, I really feel like my skin has been on point lately, like for real on point. And this is what I'm using, except I'm not using this today. I have two favorites right now. This is by, and I've shared it, sorry, it means making a noise. This is by Laneige, or I don't know how to pronounce it. But this new cushion, like fanat, like new cushion thing, is like the rage. Like everyone like, is using it, I think, in Korea. That's what I've heard. But it's amazing. Like look at my skin. Isn't it so glowy? I mean, I did use a little bit. Like I just, you guys, I love this. But actually, I'm not using this today. But like really, my face has been glowy like this because of this and one other item. Okay. So that's that. I just want to share this with you guys. Um, so you knew that with every order, you do get one of these little HRH bags. So cute. You guys know I love anything like clear and black and like zippy and stuff. Okay. Now on to, let me talk about that, the makeup product that I was going to bring up for my glowy skin. So this is by Chantiquet. And I really do love this sponge thing. I use this sponge thing a lot, but the thing is that my, this, it's like run out. Like there's not a lot of product left in there right now. So I have been switching off to this until I'm able to fill that up. This is the 
Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation and I got Alabaster and it's just, it looks like this and it's not thick. It's like really kind of like, not soupy, like it doesn't pour out, but it's not cakey. And like, I just look at this, I wanna show you guys. It just looks like skin, honestly. Like it's not a lot of coverage. I don't like to wear a lot of coverage, but it's really, really nice. I really like it a lot. Um, definitely, probably really good for summer too because you don't want to wear too much makeup. I love this. I love it. Okay, so that's that. I'm just moving this over to the side. Um, next, I'm going to talk about, let me talk about what I'm wearing. I haven't talked about anything. So this stuff that I'm wearing is by Wilfred, and I got it when I was in Canada. I really, really like it. I have not like shopped. At first, I haven't had time to shop. Second of all, I'm really fat, and I'll go into, I know you guys are like, oh my god, no, you're not. But like, I am for me. I'm not like doing well at all, I feel like, as far as like keeping my weight under, under control. And I'm trying to get it under, I'm trying to get it under control now, like recently I've been working out, and I'll talk to you guys about that too. But... So I haven't like bought clothes. I haven't thought like, oh, I'd look so good in this right now. I'm just trying to like live day by day and like taking care of my weight issue. I really feel like that. Like everyone has their struggles, okay? Anyway, so let me talk about what I'm, so what I'm wearing. Actually, I wanna talk about my rings first because these have seemed to be like the most popular right now, definitely, are my new Art Deco stacking rings. And they are, these Art Deco Crystal Tears, which a lot of you guys have in the bracelets. And I sell, I'm selling them now as rings. They're little stacking chain rings, and they come in all of the color combos that you could get with it in the bracelets. You can now get, now get them with the rings, and they stack, or you can wear them by themselves like this. So what's good about it is you can choose any colors, you can mix and match. Uh, literally, I have every single color. If you guys have seen a photo of me lately, I've been wearing my, these rings. I just love them so much. They bring so much like, like sparkle to your hand. I just love them so, so, so much. These are all rare and vintage stones too, just so you guys know. I'm wearing the Blush AB, which is blush color and has an AB over it. And I'm wearing the Flawless Diamond. And then the... Uh, glass slipper AB which is like a really light glass slipper color with an AB on top so pretty and then I'm also doing my sweet little stacking rings and they're just little delicate chains three different ones that can stack and I usually wear them on three fingers or I double stack two of them here just really fun and cute um, and you guys are loving loving the rings which I'm so happy because I can't wait to you guys like get them and start wearing them. Um, you're gonna be wanting to add more to the collection because they're really, really cool. Um, I'm wearing my new, you guys, I should have learned how to say this before. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, this is the, like, in, in English, it's three stars, but in I named it a French name because you guys know I'm like totally wanna be like French name person. Like I love French words, but I can't pronounce them. I think it's toi et toi or something, three stars. And it's three of my, Art Deco tears with really, really pretty silver delicate chain. And there's, it's like two or two pieces on each side. So it goes around to the back and it's really nice and smooth and seamless and it's tailored perfectly. Um, I have them in three color combinations. I'm wearing them. Mine is the AB and the Flawless Diamond and the Art, oh no, sorry, the Glass Slipper AB. It's like really like dreamy trio. And then I have this one, which is more like a tropical feel. But I wanted to show you guys up front to show you guys what they look like. This is Twinkle and the Mermaid's Tail and the Blush AB. And it's just so sparkly, so pretty. I wore this one at my party. I know a lot of you guys have been asking to see this up close and I wanted to show you. And this ring light is kind of crazy. Am I green now? I'm not sure if I'm like a green tint now after I show that up close, hope not. Okay. So this is like the new, like the new like choker, the new coveted choker that so many of you guys are loving. It's really, really, it's an amazing piece. And obviously easy sta easily stackable or you can wear it alone. It's great, I love it. And then I'm wearing um, obviously my sleek dash, which I wear with everything. And then I'm wearing my new, uh, what is this? The sparkling double chain. I'm wearing it in the gun metal. And you can see how sparkly it is, right? Let me put this underneath. 
can see how sparkly it is. You know like my Orion chain, how it's really sparkly? This is a similar chain but even more delicate. It's really, really, really shiny. So it will always catch that light. Um, you guys love the Orion, so if you know the Orion, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, also, this is my new Lux Tattoo necklace. And the Lux Tattoo chokers are my favorite chain chokers. So if you ever see me wearing a choker, it's probably this one. I have it in gold and I have it in silver. And I came out with the chokers first and then I wanted to bring out a necklace too so that I, when I wore the choker and the necklace together, it looks like you're wrapping a necklace around and then leaving the rest hanging down. Does that make sense? So if you wear them to pair together, the necklace, this really, really shiny Lux Tattoo necklace with the choker, it's really, really like sexy and so shiny. It's just a really, really great chain. So there's now that. I have so many things to show you. I just want to show you guys one more thing. I'm probably showing you. This is my new monster chain necklace. I came out with these two and I was just looking at some of my older designs with crystals in long chains and I haven't done any in a long time. And when I started doing my monsters, I thought I, I should do a necklace too so that we can pair them with necklaces. So this one is the day, I have a day crystal and a night crystal combination and the night is the darker versions and the day is the lighter version crystals and they come on silver or gold chains and they're really, really, really shiny. On the day crystals, one side is like pink purple and the other side is blue on the big stone and then it's an AB spike. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. The night one is gonna be black on one side and then the same pink purple on the other. It's really, really cool if you wear them together. Um, I don't know if you can see this combo I'm wearing but because of like the way I'm sitting but I hope you can, it's really pretty. Okay, um, and then I just have, I have a lot more pieces too, but I figured I would just show you the ones that I'm most excited about. That's not true, there's other ones I have right in front of me that I really wanna show too. Um, I'll kinda just like grab them up so you guys can see, but I'm just gonna wait because I could just talk about them for hours. Um, so just go on my site and browse around. Everything is there for you guys to see and it's like really easy to order now too, so you don't have to like be confused. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is this new perfume. Actually, no, perfume I'm not going to talk about because I feel like I've been talking about like beauty products a lot. Okay, I'm going to talk about my shoes. Do you guys remember those tweed Chanel shoes that I got, those tweed Chanel sneakers that busted? Like, remember the sides of them were like coming out or like the tweed just didn't, I don't know, the tweed just fell apart when you wore them? I decided to exchange them for these all black ones and I love them, but they're just boring as hell. Like honestly, they're good. Like they're so I'll never get rid of them. They're just really cool, but they're they're just boring. They're nothing. They're just black. And I like when you walk, it looks like you're just wearing like Nike trainers. Um, so I'm not gonna recommend. Like I'm not gonna say you have to get this. You know what I mean? Like you don't. The tweed I had to have. The tweed I still miss every single day. Like I love the tweed so much, but. Um, it just was not good. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna wear, look, I literally wore them one time and they didn't work out. So I love these, but they're just boring and I miss the tweed ones so bad, like I miss them. Okay, then let's talk about, um, okay. Remember I told you guys I was fat? Am I all over the place again? I don't know, okay. So this is the new thing, not really the new thing, whatever, it's just like not new. But a, I've been like trying to work out. So you guys know that Ron recently, not Ron, but typically not Ron recently, but Ron, remember how I was working out with him? He ended up like not being able to work out with me anymore because he's moving to like a different, he's doing, he's like getting promoted and like moving. So he's just not like conducive to the schedule anymore, whatever, unfortunately. I didn't care anyway because he was coming too fucking late. Like he came at like 8, 8.30, like I, I could not eat afterwards. So I'd have to eat before, so I was like full. I don't like to eat right before I work work out and I had to, I usually eat around like seven so it was just like too, whatever it was too much anyway so all right soul cycle you guys all right you guys are gonna be like shut up or I agree I don't know it is so fucking expensive like it is so expensive and there is no way around it right like even if you buy a package it only let you save like three dollars on like the entire thing it's not three dollars a class like three dollars on the whole package so what is the point of like in, like investing all your money to save three dollars plus you have to pay three dollars to rent the shoes like 
okay, it's just like highway robbery, but it's the only thing that really kicks my ass. Like, and it's the only thing that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go. It's because it's close to where I work. I can walk. Um, I can leave Ming at the office, um, and then I can go work out and come back. So it's just been really, really, really like, easy for me, like convenient. But you guys, it's like thirty. The thirty dollars a class, thirty dollars for one class plus three dollars to rent the shoes. Like I am asking you guys about this because I'm asking you if you know any tricks as to get like a discount on SoulCycle because I really still want to keep going, but I'm like I'm gonna go broke. Like who the hell can afford thirty dollars for a forty-five minute class? Like that's insane, and. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, is there any like tricks or something? Like, am I being dumb and just like paying $30 every time? Am I missing something? Because the classes are like full. Like, where are people getting their money from? Like, it's so expensive, right? Um, maybe I mean cheap. I don't know. It's worth it if you have the money, I guess. But it's like, whoa, like emptying out my pocket every time for this one class. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Well, I got one free class for the Brentwood one. So, but I don't go to the Brentwood one often. Um, so if you guys know any ways to like, if I'm like missing something, like if there's like, I know there's no Groupon because like SoulCycle is like the shit right now. Like everyone does it. So they're not giving discounts, but I don't know any tips. That would be great. Like, I don't know, like a coupon or something, please, please. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be like, phys I'm trying to like incorporate physical activity in my life. Okay. Then I'm going to talk about my new perfume and it's by Kai, K-A-I. And um, it's just like the new fragrance. I, I, I don't know if they have several fragrances because it was like the only one sitting on the counter. And it just smells like, I think it's a flower smell, like a gardenia or something. And I know I have my other one, which I love my by Van Cleef, Van Cleef and Arpel Arpe or something. I love that, but I like to have variation. And I'm gonna try to link everything below for you guys too so you can find these things because I really like this and it's a very nice scent. Um, and I just keep this one in my bag. I just like throw this one. I don't want to throw the other one in my bag because it's like very nice and I feel like it's too expensive to be thrown around. Okay, um, next thing I'm talk about is this. And oh my God, I guess I finally got it, yay. Like I finally have reached the 100,000 subscribers mark and I really thank you guys so much. Remember I did like the video where I was like, oh my gosh, should I like release balloons and shit behind me? Like, But I finally got my little plaque and I'm just like really, I just love it. Like I feel like, it's very cool and it says, it says it's like a YouTube congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. Like, like I said before, I don't like give myself a pat on the back or anything because it really took me a long time to get here, like too long. There's some people who like get hundreds of thousands of subscribers in like months and I've been here for like I think five or six years and I just reached it like last year I think or just over just a little bit over a year ago, I don't remember. But whatever, I finally got it. Like, remember I was like, oh, it's like getting an A and PE or something. I don't know, whatever. I finally got it. It's okay. I just want to show you guys because it's like a little plaque and it's cute. Um, next thing is food. Okay, so I like try not to eat. You guys know that. Like, I just am the kind of person I know my body. Like, if I eat three meals a day, I'm gonna get fat. Or like, I'm not eating three meals a day. Like, I you know a lot of you guys lecture me on like food and stuff like that. But that's like your thing and like. My thing obviously is not working what I do, but I'm still doing it because that's what I'm used to. This is Tart Cherry by Noosa. This freaking brand is so good, N-O-O-S-A. And I first discovered it at Whole Foods and now I notice that like Pavilions, I think Ralph's has it. You guys, the Tart Cherry and the Coconut one is so good. This is full fat though. It's not like non-fat, which I don't care. I love full fat, but it's 140 calories in this little one. If you get the bigger one, it's 300 calories in the whole thing, but it's like so rich. You don't need the whole thing. It's really, really good yogurt. Love it. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is this blush and I've talked about it before, but I recently rediscovered it. You guys know I don't go out and buy like a ton of makeup. I don't go out and buy like a lot of things. So things that I have, I, I do love when I talk about them and use them. This is by Laura Geller and it's in the color Petal. And if you go see that peach on my face, it's this. And I just take a brush and then I brush it on. And there's a little bit of metallic in it, but there's no like glitter flakes, so it's not gonna get like stuck in pores or anything like that. I really like this. I really like it. There's almost like a rose gold sheen to it or something. It's just nice. Uh, and it's not very expensive. I think I got it at Ulta. 
Um, sorry, I'm like, oh, I don't know why I'm burping, but I did. Gross. Okay. Then, okay, next thing. <laughs> okay, so you guys know I love, like, um, I'm, like, picky about skincare, and I always like to try new skincare. If it's recommended by someone who I trust, or if it's expensive, I also trust it, too, even though that might not be always smart. But I talked about this line in my last, in a leather video, and I had gotten the exfoliator. So, literally every time I go back to Barney's, I ask for samples of this line, because I do want to purchase it, maybe in the future, but right now I'm still getting through my Chanel line, my Chanel stuff. Um, but I really, you guys, am loving this. Like, I'm not even really using my Chanel um, sublimage anymore. I'm just using, like, these free samples from N Nutra... Bisset. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, I, I'm not sure what I'm using. I, I've got so much shit in here. I don't even know. Like, what is this? Serum Life Infusion. I just like pile it on. I don't even know. Life Infusion Inhibit Tensol Lift uh, Eye Cream. Okay, I know what that is. Okay, hand. Dumb. Neck Cream. I, I've just been like layering it. The Gel, Gel Anti E anti-bio regenerator I, I don't know you guys like I just really like the line because I don't know like I just do so I'm using like all these samples and whenever I go back there to like purchase something I always ask for more because I'm going to purchase it um I just like I just really really like it I really like it um let's see what else another thing of my favorites lately is um a talk show and I you guys, this is shaking and I'm sorry, but so when I was younger, um, kind of sad story, but when I was younger, I used to beg my mom, not younger, like in middle school and even oh God, like even the beginning of high school, even high school, seriously, because I like, had zero friends, but um, I would beg my mom, even though she worked full time, to come pick me up at her lunch break to like have lunch with me and like sit in her car because at lunch, like no one would sit with me or they'd like make fun of me like... Not even that, they would make fun of me. They would just like deliberately isolate me and then like poke fun at me and shit like that just for being like overweight or they like said I had like big ears. Um, it was just like a really mean shit. Like, ugh, whatever. Honestly, I'm not, I'm gonna, I think I've said this in the past. I'm happy I was bullied. If I wasn't bullied, I don't think I'd be as strong as I am today. I know there's like this big anti bullying movement or moving movement going on. And I know there's a, a certain extent to the, the bullying. I think it's probably worse nowadays. I can see it because, like, the online presence is so, people are so fucking mean online. Like, they have, like, obviously, like, zero lives, like, going after people they don't even know. So if they knew someone and did that to them online, I can't even imagine. Like, if I was in high school and people were posting things about me, it would be, it would be horrible. Um, but I was, I feel like normal bullying is, like, I feel like I was normal bullied. I wasn't, like, hurt, like kicked, you know what I mean? Or, like, beaten up. Um, I kind of like, I'm okay. I'm like, okay with it because I feel like it kind of shaped who I am today as far as wanting to better my life, wanting to be better, wanting to do well. I don't know. So anyway, back on track. I used to beg my mom to come pick me up for lunch, like call her and like beg her on this, on the payphone. I remember at school, like to come pick me up. So we could just like sit in her car and we used to always go to Carl's Jr. and get those salads, like the Carl's Jr., um, grilled chicken salad and we sit in her car and listen to Dr. Laura and I hadn't listened to Dr. Laura in a long time because she went off the air and now she's on Sirius I don't know what happened and I just rediscovered her recently she's as like she's as in, not insane what's the word like matter of fact like just her way or the highway she's right 100% like listen d listen to me or don't you're an idiot, idiot if you don't listen to me but she gives the best advice the best advice, you guys. And she's, I feel like she's always right. If you ha don't have like the right family structure or if you are looking for advice, I really think you should listen to her, Dr. Laura on Sirius. I even bought her podcast and I listen to it all the time now. Even though it does make me question things I've done in my life and things that I'm doing now currently, like I will pick fights and things because like I'm like, oh, double Dr. Laura said that. So I have to like tone myself back, but I really like her. She is like a no she's like she's like a therapist who's gonna call you out like if you're like shacking up with a guy and he hasn't committed to you in like two years like there is like you shouldn't be with someone for longer than two years because you should have already been married by then like there's these rules that she says that kind of like trigger things in your head like yeah that's true you know 
you know, if you like live with a guy, like she says that you're like an unpaid prostitute, things like the things she says, I'm like, oh my God, like shit. <laughs> but, um, you know, she really is right. I, I, I think like she resonates with me and she, if you guys don't like her, you don't like her, but I feel like she gives people great advice. She might, and sometimes I'm like, okay, you need to tone it down a little bit. Like that's a little bit much. Like I don't agree with you hundred percent. Like you need to give that girl a little bit more credit, but I get it. Like she, she resonates with me and I really like her. So that's another thing I've been really loving lately. Um, two more things is water bottles. So I know you guys, you guys know I'm like so picky with water bottles. Like, all right, this sounds so stupid and everyone's going to hate me for saying this, but if a, like, if a water bottle is like cheap and tacky, like I just, oh my God, am I really going to say this? I don't like cheap and tacky water bottles. Like I feel like the water tastes worse. Yeah. I don't even want to say this because like, people are going to fucking hate me, but I just don't like a bad water bottle. I like a nice water bottle. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm very, very picky about the water bottles I buy. The shape has to be right. And like the font on the water bottle has to be right. It has to, has to be like cute or like, I'd rather just go home and like put ice in a cup and like get filtered water from my, like from my fridge. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm not going to buy the water bottle. All right. So I showed you guys so many bougie water bottles, like the Chanel Vibe water bottle and like the Korean water bottle and there's other ones too. Okay, so when I was like shopping for water bottles, they had some, like the, they didn't have my Chanel, oh no, they had my Chanel but it wasn't on sale, it was like $12 for like six and I was like, uh, that's like a little bit high, I'm like, I like to buy them when there's like a special. So I saw this crystal geyser. Okay, you guys are gonna be like, shut up. Crystal geyser is the most basic fucking bitch at water bottle ever. I know it's nothing. Like you get it like you get it at like CBS for like 50 cents. I like this shape water bottle. I don't know what it is about it. I like the way it's like big all the way up and it has like a short. You guys, I'm weird as hell. Okay, I get it. I know. I don't know, but I don't know what it is. I bought like a six pack of these water bottles and I really like the shape. It's like the bigger one, you know what I mean? It's not like the lunchbox size one. I really like it. I don't know what it is. I just kind of think it's cool. <laughs> you guys, oh my God, why do I do these videos? Why do I do these fucking videos? But um, I just like this shape crystal geyser. Do you like it? Do you guys, do you feel me on this, on this crystal geyser? Do you know what I'm talking about? No? Okay. I just like it. <laughs> Can you tell? It's not like the liter size. What is this one? Oh, it is a liter. Two liter size. You know, like the big huge one's not that. It's just like, it's like chubby and good. Okay, bye. Oh my God, I'm horrible. I'm not horrible, I'm retarded or crazy. Okay, last thing I like, oh no, two things. Now we're gonna talk about like sh like glowy shimmer face. And like I feel like I am like the spokesperson for having a, of course I'm like moving too much so, a spokesperson for having like a shimmery, dewy or like a glowy face. Like I always want to look like I have some kind of, I don't give a fuck if it's grease. Like I think I look younger, I look more youthful and healthy when I have a little bit of shine on my face. Like, I don't wanna look matte. That just like looks old and crusty. Like why the fuck would I wanna look old and crusty? Like no, I wanna look like dewy and fresh and buoyant, okay? So besides what I showed you guys, my two, my Chantique and my Korean sponge brand, I love this cl clay de peau, and I've showed this in my last video, I think my last one or two videos ago, and it is expensive, it's like $90, so it's one of those things where don't get it if it's, it, like, I remember I, I think I said at one point, like, if you don't have the money, don't get it, but I'm kind of feeling like, save for it at this point. It's, I got the number 14, okay, and I think I already have some on, but I'm just going to put a little bit more. It's just really natural. I'm not like one of those girls who are like, who's like a makeup queen and like wants to have like that highlight and that contour and that crazy shit. Like I don't wear a lot of makeup and I don't want to and I don't have a lot of time to and it's just not my thing. So this is for that. Like I feel like this is very natural. You know what I mean? And it's like very effortless and I don't want to spend a lot of time and I don't want to look like I spent a lot of time on my, on my makeup at all. Like that's the last thing I want to look like. Okay. The next thing is this, and it's by La Cetane, and it's called Face Comforting Oil. I really don't need this at all right now. Like, I feel like I am very oily, like, right now, but I'm going to put it on just to show you guys. I use this if I'm having, like, sometimes during, like, sometimes when I'm dry or, like, if the product, if, like, the foundation I used is like drying or something I just put this like right here 
and here. Um, I don't know. Just like there. You know what I mean? Um, it's really nice. I, I, I don't know what it's for, you guys. I got it for that, though. I got it just to have like that, that additional glow. If you don't like my kind of like look or whatever, then it's not for you. But if you like to have that like starry looking like I don't know. I just feel like I have. I feel like the lights. I feel like the light catches me. I don't know. I feel younger when I have a shinier face, but not in a gross way. Like I obviously am not like dripping in oil. Oh, am I? I just put oil on my face. Okay, you guys. I'm like done with this. <laughs> I'm like this is like over. <laughs> but um, okay. I think that's it. And I hope you guys like this as usual. I hope I didn't bore the fuck out of you. Like I really, I'm sorry if I did. This is all stuff that I'm really excited about. Like now I'm even more excited about this stuff because I talked about it. Um, yeah. All right. Well, feel free. Please go check out my site. Let me know what you guys think. I'm like worked so, so hard on it. I'm just so happy about it. Like, I, I don't know. It's really, really, really fun and great. And just so you guys know, it, the store is so much easier to shop on right now. Like it's so much easier, but I know a lot of you guys prefer to order via email and you know I'm always okay with that. I love interacting with you guys, so I have no problem still doing that if you want to, if you're used to that. I love it, I love you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later and I, I'm gonna try to do a vlog for next week, but I wanted to like sit down and actually like talk to you guys and I had so many like actual favorite things building up I really wanna show you. Um, don't forget that my HRH bags are still available for any purchase. You'll be getting this bag. And then when we sell out, I'm going to be listing them for sale because I just love them so much. I feel like it's a shame not to include them. Um, I love the way they turned out and I've been using mine so often. Okay, you guys, I love you. Bye.